just as other Nigerians have been asking the federal government of Nigeria to release Mazin Namdekano unconditionally or apply political solution to his issues, Ariwa have also urged the president of Nigeria, President Bola Tinubu, to release Namdekano as he did to Mieti Ala Lida. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Civil Rights Advocacy Group, the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, has described as unfortunate the decision of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu not to press ahead with charges of terrorism against the leader of Mieti Hala category, Belu Bodijo, but has fortified the prosecution theme in the case of Mazin and the Kano of the indigenous of the indigenous people of Biafra. The right group said the decision's marks of double standard and is therefore all constitutional. Besides, Harry Wa said, there was nothing wrong with the decision of the indigenous peoples of Biafra to ask the people of the Southeast to observe a period of solemnity in commiseration of all the Eastern Nigerian people who were killed during the 30 months old fratricidal war just as Ariwa has called on the Southeast political religious and traditional leaders to present a common position to the Nigerian government. So May 30th marks as a national holiday in honor of the heroes passed from the Eastern region of the First Republic Nigeria. Ariwa has, however, cautioned that those voluntarily willing to go about their lawful activities should be free to do so but they need to know that millions of Igbo and eastern regions reside dead fighting to keep the rest of us alive and safe and therefore honoring the dead with a solemnity is not too much to ask for oriwa commended the government of Abia states on the diplomatic way it has handled the decision of the indigenous peoples of Biafra to call for a memorial, just as the Abia state governor, Hales Oti, has said his administration is not interested in going into unnecessary confrontation, confrontation with the promoters of the May 30 sit at home in the honor of those killed during the Nigerian Civil War. On the refusal of President Bola Metinubu to free the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Oriwa has certain thoughts. We found it unbelievably disappointing and shocking that the, fe the, the Federal Attorney, Attorney General and the Minister of Justice, Latif, who has insisted on charging Mazen and the Kano to court for terrorism has now chickened out in the case of the Fulani head of the Mieti Hala category that had constantly supported acts of terrorism by armed Fulani attackers of farming communities in the eight years of the corruption riddled Muhammad Buhari led government. Harry was stated that over 6,000 farmers were murdered by armed Fulani attackers, backed by the cattle owners, just as the right group wondered how such a leader of a group that constantly supported attacks of farmers is now a free man. Ariwa argued that it is simply brutal, brutal art of hatred for the Igbo ethnic nationality for the current president to insist on charging Mazen Namdekano for terrorism only because his group fronted the Eastern Security Network to chase away suspected armed Fulani murderers, but the same administration that arrested the leader 
of Mietehala over charges of terrorism for establishing armed Fulani vigilante in Nasara State has now discontinued its persecution. Mr. President, your action of freeing one person only because he is a Fulani but has decided to press ahead with the frivolous charges of terrorism against Mazen Nambikano because he is an Igbo man. It's not so different from political apartheid policy with several human rights laws and Section 42, 1 in bracket of Nigerian Constitution, at lauded and described as discrimination. Oriwa recorded that on the Mieti leader's case in which Tenubu's administration chickened out of fear and political favorism, the trial judge Mr. Ayong Eko of the Federal High Court, Abuja, has discharged the leader of Mieti Ala Katuvuri, Bello Bodijo, of an alleged terrorism charge filed against him by the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation. In a ruling, Justice Eko discharged Bodijo after counsel for the AGF, Adirun Ke, moved on oral application for the withdrawal of the three-count charge. At the resumed hearing on Wednesday, Adirun Ke informed the court that she had an oral application. So the lawyer said the application was under Section 108, 108 of the Administration of the Criminal Justice Act, ACJA, 2015. She said the request was further predicated on the power of the AGF under Section 174 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, adding that the Attorney General of the Federation had instructed her to withdraw the charge against the defendant in the interest of justice. Counsel to Body J did not oppose the application, thanking the AGF for, a, for, for his magnanimous gesture. His late counsel, Ahmed Raji, subsequently urged the court to discharge the accused person under the, under the sections referred to by the prosecution. The right group carpeted the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif, for endlessly saying that the offense of the detained leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, in Amdekan is a difficult one and can only be resolved by a competent court of law. He added that since the matter was already in court, it should be left to the law to have its way while pointing out that Kano is being held in accordance with the Constitution, he added that the matter was still in court. Oriwa described the above statement by the Attorney General of Nigeria as unfortunate and shamelessly unlearned, even as the right group demanded to know from the Minister of Justice, Latif, under, which, under what law the leader of the Mieti Hala Okay, the, the, the leader of Mieti Hala Kotugori was initially arrested on the orders of President Bola Tinubu and even dragged to the Federal High Court by, by his Attorney General. Justice Inyako had on Monday dismissed the request by Kano for the restoration of his revoked bill, bill and the removal from the custody of the Department of State Service DSS as to a house arrest, but Ariwa described the judgment as unfortunate and sad. Hmm. So, guys, if you heard it now, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. But share this video, let it go viral. Thank you for always stopping by. Bye for now.